guys, it's Callie, and I'm so excited to finally be back in front of the camera making videos for you guys. I have missed it. My schedule was kind of jacked up because I was gone in Disney, and I'm still working on the last two vlogs right now. I know I just uploaded um, one of them yesterday, and I'm working on the last two right now. So be patient. It's coming. So since I've been traveling a lot, I figured I would do a what's in my travel makeup bag video. And also I will say, sorry if my voice is a little raspy, I was sick over the past few days with congestion and I get that almost all the time. So my bag is just this um, makeup one from Victoria's Secret. It's kind of new because the logo is wasn't like it was before. I don't really know how to describe it. So yeah, I'm just gonna open it and let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by saying I brought two palettes with me. I brought the Urban Decay Almo palette and then the Makeup by Manny 24 palette. Which I think is necessary, especially if you're going on trips for like three days or so. Because it's got all the colors you need. It has your matte ones, and then some sparkly ones, and then a black one. Which I think is cool. And if I definitely had to choose to bring one palette if I was gone like on a short trip, it would definitely be this one. So I brought the Amo palette just in case if I wanted to sparkle up during one of the days or I honestly don't know. I will say that I didn't really overpack in this makeup bag and that's a big deal for me because in the past I would pack my bags to like no return. If I was gone for like two days I would bring like five pairs of shoes. It was weird. So I brought two foundations. I brought my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and then the Dream Pure BB Cream. I brought these two foundations because they're very lightweight and I was going to be in the hot, humid Florida weather and I didn't want my face to get all greasy and sweaty and so I figured these two would be a perfect pair and then I would wear the BB Cream if I didn't want to wear like a lot of makeup one day and if I was getting on a water ride too. And these were both just very handy dandy for me. So then I brought two of these mini pore professionals from Benefit. And the reason why I brought two is because this one is full and I have one from another set which is like completely almost out. And there's still a little bit in there so in case if I ran out of this one I would have another one to go to just in case because I love this primer just so so much. So I only brought one bronzer and it was the Hoola bronzer from Benefit just because I love this bronzer so 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 much. And I ended up bringing only two blushes. I don't know why I brought two. But I figured it would be like if I wanted to wear a lighter color one day and maybe like an actual blush blush. So I brought the NYX Mozak powder and I think it counts as a blush too because when you mix them all together it shows up as a blush on your face. So, And then I brought the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush and this is in the shade Blissful and it's just such a pretty shade and it's perfect for all skin types. So I ended up bringing two face powders as well. The first one I brought is my Clinique Almost Powder that I wear pretty much almost every day. Still has a lot. And then I brought some NYX Translucent Powder. And the reason why I brought this is because in Florida it's hot and humid and my face is also very oily so it tends to sweat a lot even if I put on makeup like for two hours. Then two hours later my face will get all greasy again. And I've put this in my purse too, just in case if I was to get greasy, I could just go to the bathroom or something and apply this all over again. This is a necessity for me and anyone else who has oily skin because if you have oily skin too, you know the struggle and it sucks. So then I brought this little Clinique All About Eyes Serum. I woke up early a lot in the mornings and my eyes were just so puffy and I figured this would be a must for me to just soothe it down before I put on my makeup and yeah. I'm getting through my last few items in here. So then I brought my Anastasia Brow Wiz that I use almost every day, must for me. Then I brought the Benefit Give Me Brow because if there was a day or I just didn't want to like fill them in, I could just put this on. And I also use this as a brow setting gel for when I did use my brow wiz and it was handy dandy ponytail and a bobby pin don't know why that's in there so then i have this black pencil liner it's from a brand called la girl i'm not sure where i got it because i got it for christmas i'm not really sure why i brought this but i think i did just so i could fill in my top line right here forgot what it's called my tight line yeah my tight line 
And then if I wanted to wear it like on my waterline or something to give it a more dramatic look, I could have done that. And I brought this mini blue eyeliner from Makeup Forever just in case if I wanted to do something fun one day. This is in the shade, not the shade, the color Aqua Eyes. And it's really pretty and I didn't wear it once on the trip. I just thought I needed to one day. So I have two lip colors in here. This one is like one of those lipsticks you could get at Forever 21 for like $3. Then I brought this Clinique Chubby Stick and this is in the shade Mega Melon. And then I also brought Baby Lips in here too but then that ended up in my purse. And it was the sunscreen kind which I definitely needed. So then I brought this little baby sample of What's Up that I actually didn't use once on the trip. Just if I wanted to highlight one day, I could use it, but it didn't happen. Whoops. Then I brought two concealers. I brought the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer, and then I have my Clinique Acne Solutions one. I decided to bring this just in case if I was to break out a little more during the trip, but I used this mostly every day. So yeah. Then I brought my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion that I use mostly all the time. Then I brought my Stila Stay All Day eyeliner that I use all the time as well. So I ended up bringing only two mascaras and this is a big deal for me because normally when I'm going on a trip I will take like five and only use one. But I only brought two and this is good. So I brought the Benefit They're Real and then the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. This is a waterproof one and I really needed to take a waterproof mascara because I was going on rides that you just drop down and it splashes on you everywhere. So this was a necessity. necessity. And then I just bought the Benefit They're Real because I love this mascara like so much. So the last thing I brought was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It's travel size. It was perfect for the amount of days I was gone. It's just an overall amazing makeup setting spray. And this one's almost out and I really need to get a new one soon. Okay guys, so that was everything in my makeup bag. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment on what you want to see next. And I should be uploading the next two vlogs within the next week or so because my spring break is almost over and I'm so sad. But I hope you guys like this video and I will see you soon in my next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Bye! Woo.